The experience curve refers to the effect that firms learn from doing, which derives from the learning curve concept. The experience curve is defined by the following formula. Direct cost of nth the unit of production, Cn, equals the direct cost of the first unit of production, C1, multiplied by the cumulative volume of production, X, considering A as the experience rate. Let's see a graphical representation. The horizontal axis shows the cumulative volume of production, X, while the vertical axis measures direct cost per unit produced, C. This is the experience curve. There is a reduction in direct cost of reduction of a particular product, as a consequence of an increase in the firm's experience. Let's see what happens when two firms compete with the same product and the same experience curve. Firm B has been in the market for a longer time. Therefore, its direct costs per unit are lower than those firm A. If price equals the direct costs of firm A, Firm B will have profits, while Firm A will just survive. If A and B maintain a price level at which Firm A can endure, direct costs per unit for A will decrease at a higher rate than for B. Therefore, the longer A stays in the market, the lower the profits for B, represented by the smaller blue area. However, B is able to anticipate all these scenarios and therefore, Firm B will try to banish Firm A from the market. As mentioned before, experience curves is a wider phenomenon than learning curves because they consider not only labor productivity, but also technology, logistics, and so on. This difference allows for different experience curves to coexist. Let's see two more scenarios considering open economies. The first scenario starts just as the one analyzed before. Firm B has been in the market for a longer time and therefore its direct costs per unit are lower than those of Firm A. However, Firm A enters the market with a steeper experience curve. This may happen if Firm A's workforce is able to learn faster because it's highly qualified or because Firm A's factory allows for modifications. Under these circumstances, even though Firm A enters the market with higher direct costs than Firm B, after a certain volume, Firm A would get more experience and would have lower direct costs than Firm B, even with a lower cumulative volume. In our second scenario, Firm B has the same experience curve as before. But here, Firm A enters the market with an exclusive technology, which translates into a lower experience curve. Initially, Firm A will have higher direct costs than Firm B. However, after a while, Firm A will produce each unit with lower direct costs than Firm B. As we've seen, the difference between learning curves and experience curves is that learning curves only consider labor costs, while experience curve is a broader phenomenon related to the total output of any department, such as manufacturing, marketing, or logistics.